Hey there! In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the new composite components in Composer Pro. They are ready-made UI components made with Composer for different features you might use in your app, such as searchable lists, quantity selectors, and a news feed. You can just drag and drop these elements into your app, define the data inputs, and then have a working feature in your app in just a few clicks. You can find these in the component market. I'll be showing you a few examples of the new composite components. Adding a newsfeed to an app page, adding a tag input to a blog post page, and adding a quantity selector to a webshop page. Here I have the page for the newsfeed, and in my page variables I have a list of news articles containing their headlines, short excerpts of the content, and a header image. Looking at the component marketplace, we can find the newsfeed and install it to our library. Now we can just drag and drop it to our page. In the Properties panel, we can see that the component's inputs is a newsfeed data list. Let's bind our page variable as the input. And that's all it takes. Looking at our preview, we have a ready-made newsfeed list in a wrap based on the input we defined. Next, let's try out the tag input component. Here I have a page for a blog post, and I'd like to add some tags to it. Again, searching the market, we can find the component tag input. Let's install it and drag it to the bottom of the page. In the properties, we can define some initially suggested tags. Let's add a few. And there we go. Looking at the preview, we can now see our tag input below our blog post and select some of our predefined tags. We can also add new tags to our blog post. Lastly, let's check out the quantity selector. Here I have an online store's product page for a pair of headphones. We'll want to add an option to add multiple headphones into our shopping cart using a quantity selector. Let's find it in the component market, install it, and drag it to the app page. Now we can define the minimum and maximum amount for our quantity selector. Looking at the preview, we can see that our product page has a fully functional quantity selector with the range 0 to 5. I hope this video gets you started on using the new composite components. Thanks for watching, and let's meet again soon!